Hi everyone, I'm Alberto Chavez and here we go, the second part of this tutorial. Um, there's going to be a little modification to what we did last week for one single reason. Um, the a transformer that I was asked to do was a power master and I was doing a generation one um, Optimus Prime. The problem with this um, request is that for some reason that I really don't know why um, there are no uh, real power master images uh, along the web whatsoever that that could work as um, as a base to to work that being said I have just a couple of images that were sent by the person that uh, requested this tutorial but they are not at all um, images that can be taken so that's why I'm getting rid of the background image since it was uh, generation one Optimus Prime. So just allow me to bring my uh, mouse and keyboard uh, monitor here, down here, and I will go ahead and um, try the best I can with the image that was sent by this um, this person that requested let's see where it was I think it's um, here no actually it was uh, sorry I just forgot um, in the spot where it was so maybe it was here which says Optimus Prime is kind of obvious sorry um, see here this is the image that was sent by the person that requested the the image and therefore the modification I don't know I don't know it's really not uh, at all an um, image that can be taken as a base as I said but I will do my best anyways so let's get started um, but again that will be just an effort I can promise okay let's get rid of um, proportional editing by pressing O because I had it on and take this up and I have seen something here um, I will select this vertice here and I will pull it on the x-axis just like this but as you can see it interferes with this part of the mask however however as you can see here um there is no uh, big detail on, on this as you can see I will have to get rid of this um, circular uh, image that we extruded in the last tutorial so what do we do in order to select only this shape which is the one we did the last tutorial we need to press L you see and we only selected the shape that we added the mesh that we added um, within the the basic uh, mesh we started with which is this one here so X delete the vertices and as you can see it's actually a way way easier to work with now that we don't have those uh, extra shapes around so now 
we will go ahead and select this whole part here including this let me see oh here yeah I think uh, yeah this is all what we need to modificate and do something like this as you can see it's um, uh, something like it, a little bit more primitive if you can call it like that uh, if, if we compare with the image or yeah well the image we were taking as a base in the last tutorial uh, one more thing as you can see the back of the head is also very primitive and all what we will have to do is select this um, edge uh, vertices and extrude them it's very simple as a matter of fact so just let me see something here it's actually this one here this one here and this one down here if I'm not mistaken these are the vertices that we need to extrude yeah you know what we will do something like this so we can even the shape a little bit since um, this is kind of what we have here what we can see here so now let me just out it's just that they are not part of the same um, same line of the same edge see right exactly we will need to do actually something like this oops okay so the problem is right here with this two vertices here that mm, let me see if I can delete them I guess I just did <laughs> without any problem at all and now let me select the edge here oops be careful of um, select just the edges that you need to um, to work with now I'm going to press E to extrude them on the Y axis A E Y just because I want to work just with a um, proper axis here. Um, remember, uh, as I said before, if you want to uh, merge the vertices once they touched each other, you need to make sure on the modifier button that clipping is selected. Well, actually, not merge, but clip them one to each other and make them a single um, vertice. So now I will go ahead and extrude on the x-axis, E X, and make just a single uh, point here. Just like that. Obviously we will need to round this up just a little bit by pulling this just like that. Right. Back to the front. Um, well, the part of the head, this top part of the head, it's um, kind of a, I don't know, know the name of it, but what we will do is just select the whole vertices and click I. So we create a little inset that's what um, what I stands for inset um, because as you can see there's a little uh, I don't know how to call it margin um, between this uh, the very edge of the shape and this little holes that we will start opening like right now how are we going to open this um, holes is just we will need to add edge loops as you if you want to ca count them just one two 
three, four, five, five edge loops, control R, one, two, three, actually it's four right now, as you can see, one, two, three, four, one more, and there we have it. As you can imagine, all what we need to do now is kind of delete faces. It's pretty simple, really, really simple. It's not a big deal. You want to make it on your own. It's really, really, really simple. We select the faces we want to delete. Remember, um, if you want to delete faces, complete faces, you need to go here and click this cube which is face select. The other ones are edge select and vertex select. Okay. Once you have the faces selected, click X, delete faces. And there you have it. It's um, very simple, as you can see. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit of depth because right now it's just like a single uh, it's very thin. You want it to be thicker so it looks like a, a big piece of metal that was included or that was, I don't know, shaped. So we select the inner edges of, well, actually, the, the edges we created by deleted the faces. Um, so we just click. E to extrude, Y to make it, you see, here, just about there. So every time we see it, it's really just like a big piece of metal. It looks like a little bit more powerful. We can call it like that. <laughs> okay. Um, the actually, you know, let's get rid of that because we can do it for the whole um, mesh we've been working with a little modifier we come here to the modifier button let me pull this up and we will add another modifier which is solidify you see since it's a single mesh the whole thing it's one single mesh what we are going to do here will do for the whole head okay I will just explain what that what this um, modifier does and then I will get rid of it because I want to apply the, the modifier to the whole thing um, I mean head and the rest of the body it just let me explain to you what this solidify modifier does let, let's see I think this edge here will explain very well what I want to do. As I said, this is a very thin uh, layer of uh, it's just a single mesh, has no depth, right? So, in order for us to give depth to our model, we can go ahead and add this modifier. Remember click on the wrench then uh, here add modifier solidify we did it already I will not add another one and you will work with this where it says thickness you will in fact add thickness to the model 0 0.1 will do the trick you see what happened our whole mesh is now with depth and it looks strong, powerful, right? It really looks like uh, a single piece of metal um, that was, uh, I don't know, carved, polished, and then uh, gave birth to the biggest hero of all times, Optimus Prime. <laughs> That being said, I will get rid of it because, as I said, I want to apply it to the whole model, not just um, the little part of the head of the prime. Okay, 
let's deselect the whole thing I will go ahead and select just this um, edge of the head because I would like to go to the front I will press the Z because I want to see the inner part of this I will click E and go down E and go down why? well just because whoa whoa there you go mother of god I was afraid now um, as you can see I made a little mistake because um, this edge it's um, a way way out of the real mask of well the helmet I don't know how to call it the helmet of, of the prime so let me get Oh, it's not working. All right, just pull this back, okay, just like this. But the problem is that there's another uh, part here. So Alt Shift click, and that should do. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, what I did was Alt Shift and right click on the edge. So the whole edge, as you can see, is selected. So I can modify both of them now and pull them back. So we will not see them when we finish this. Okay. Now, however, this part I wouldn't like this to be empty, so I will just go ahead and select this part of the head. Go here. Z and extrude it just those edges right there. A little part got out, so now it's in. And um, I don't know what else. Oh, okay. Here, this part, um, we made it maybe too complicated. If you can see the, um, the shape, it's very. I don't know I don't like it at all but hey <laughs> that's the way it is isn't it so B for box select let's get rid of this and um, actually alt shift right click uh, X delete vertices and um, what else oh yeah here this part I guess I can get rid of it X vertices because um, and actually this two little friend here uh, let me just pull this in okay now the this part here uh, can be done in a s uh, very easier way by selecting these two guys here and um, so if you remember here with the number one of the keypad of well, actually the number pad of your um, desktop if you have desktop if not if you have a laptop if you are working with a laptop and you want to use your um, these views here here what you need to do is uh, most of the laptops have um, a key that says FN right for for function that stands for function so you need to press FN and find within your um, keyboard what letters have numbers in a different color and the color will be the same color that the F N letters on the key okay I don't know if I make any sense at all if I don't please let me know <laughs> okay we have this and we go we are here front view with the number three of the number pad we go to the right view the side view of the right so we start E actually like about here. Now 
E again, like about there, and E here. What we did, it's most likely what you see here. Now, we need to fill the faces, so we select four vertices and click on F. Now, these four vertices here, uh, but I will do something else here. I will select these two vertices and then I will press Alt M and I will say that I need them to be merged based on the last um, vertex or vertice that I selected. So now that they are joined, they are a single vertice now, I select the four faces and press F four vertices, I'm sorry, and press F, and we have our model basically done, at least the head, of course. Um, so, as you can, if you can see here, they are a little bit uh, trying to meet each other at the center, so all what we're going to do is select these two vertices here and pull them on the x-axis to the center, just a little bit. Okay. I think I can call it done. What do you, say? What do you think? Now, it has no color at all. Um, and just for you to see what are we doing here, I will go ahead and give it some color. Since it's a single mesh, I will need to work with um, various materials for the single head. We will do it in cycles, so you know the colors. I like the colors a little bit more in cycles. So the base color of the head it's blue, right? So select the material button, click on use notes. Um, not diffuse, maybe glossy since we are trying to um, let the viewer, uh, I mean the people that will see our model, um, that is a metal thing, and we will try to find, it's kind of like that, remember these numbers, 0 in red, 0 0.264 green and 0 0.8 in blue. It doesn't really matter to remember the the, um, the colors, but hey, it's fun. <laughs> Let me get this. Now, um, in cycles, there are no way uh, to see the material on the viewport here. At least you Control C, you copy the color and paste it here where it says viewport color. You paste it right there. All right. However, and obviously, um, Optimus Prime is not completely blue. So we go to edit mode, face selection, and select this part of the jaw if we can call this a jaw or whatever you want to call it um, sorry it's just that I can't find the names not even in Spanish which is my mother language <laughs> so hey please bear with me okay um, if we okay see what I'm doing here if we change the color just like that what we did is changing the color to the whole thing okay if we click or we press F12 and we make a little render oh wait a minute wait a minute here Let me see in the light here where's the light oh here here the light um Let's say it's a sun. Let me rotate. So 
so it points there the strength it was like 10 maybe I don't know not sure um, what's wrong oh wait something else uh, let me give it a little bit of roughness here yeah it was reflecting the whole thing so we didn't see it at all um, can you see something? Not really, right? So <laughs> let's give the background, let's make it like, I don't know, solid white maybe. So we can see the whole thing, give some ambient occlusion. Okay, now it's way, way better. But as you can see, we changed this to this color. If I do it again to the color I was searching for, which is this one, I change it the whole thing, right? So, what we need to do, let's go to front view. Since we want just this part, the jaw, I need to add a new material here with this plus sign where it says material. Okay, let's give this a name and call it, I don't know, helmet, maybe. The plus sign, so I can add a different material and let's call this um, jaw whatever you want to call it and now it's uh, a very light blue maybe a little bit lighter just like that now we just created a new material but we need to assign the material to this so we click on assign did you see? it was wonderful isn't it? <laughs> okay now next part since um, we will go ahead and paint let me insert an edge loop like about there yeah and let me pull this vertice or actually these two vertices down also this one just like that and this one a little bit up just like that face selection and we can pretend that this has the same material as this so we select jaw and assign it All right now however maybe we're still missing the eyes and besides this inner part it's black right maybe it's the way for prime to intimidate their enemies so the septicons tremble so um face black i don't know i'm not very original at names we can make it on the fuse because it's solid black and we assign it okay now we will say this as optimus 1 I press the plus sign and it immediately gives the sick um, the next um, bigger number after one obviously is two I'm sorry I'm I just sound as a teacher didn't I sorry okay if we render this and as you can see it's uh, way better right but let me call the camera here to the front view how do I r um, relocate the camera control alt zero on the number pad and we have it there. 
let me move it um, first G so I can place prime in the center and then G um, middle wheel mouse wheel and we pull it back G again and we have it there F12 so we do a quick render and we can see now that it has um, hmm. wait a minute one more thing I just realized something and it is that this part oh no, actually it's okay but this one here I saw it like Oh, maybe it's the location of the sun lamp. Let me get rid of the lamp and add a plane like that. I will rotate it in the x-axis, so Rx. Scale it, so I press S and make it give it uh, an emission material, just like this, and maybe strength of 5. Let's click on F12. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was because of the, the strength of the lamp and the type of the lamp. Maybe um, let me change the background color just a little to light gray so the face doesn't get confused with the background and maybe the jaw part um, it's a diffuse one so I will do it a very ah, just like that let's see F12 again It's a light blue, maybe just like that. Um, what else? Maybe I should pull these edges right here. And I will go ahead and um, activate proportional editing with O. Um, increase the scope just a little bit with the middle mouse middle wheel mouse and um, now get rid of the proportional editing and pull this just a little and uh, vertex selection because this is a very even shape or the prime or I don't know any given reason I like it uh, the generation one it's a little bit more I don't know I like it a little bit more sorry if I sounded like uh, blasphemy <laughs> but hey not young anymore so it's um, a matter of age maybe all right let's change that material there and now we are just missing the eyes the eyes are going to be um, we will stay we will stay on edit mode but we will add a new mesh a plane and I will rotate it on the x-axis or x 90 degrees let me, um, let me oh wait a minute uh, let me get rid of the clipping because otherwise it will stay um, basically in the same 
it's going to be a clipped. <laughs> so, vertex selection, and I will pull this on the x axis. Actually, this two here. And, um, like that. So, let's select the whole thing. Go create a new material. Give it a name like um, ice and give it a red. I remember um, the guy who asked me for to do this uh, told me to make it um, light blue, like with an emission material. But this comic, this image here, has it red. So I will go ahead and make it red. So I will give it an emission material, maybe a number two. That's the strength of the emission. So let's pull this and um, like about there. And they are too big. So S to scale and just about there little bit down and on the y axis let me get them in actually I will go ahead and click E to extrude I will give it a little bit of depth so um, L so I just um, select the new mesh I created and on the y axis I will do this it doesn't matter if it gets inside the the face because since it has some some depth it will not affect okay we'll assign the new material press F12 and as you can see it's very similar to this right but I can see something else there is this no wait a minute yeah right this part here as you can see still has the jaw material and it's actually face black the ones should have okay better now I don't see this line and we can say basically that the face is completed and also is the tutorial for this week the next week well actually just one more thing this guy here and I don't know because I don't have another, um, another image to to compare this part of the jaw it seems too sharp so with proportional editing activated with O or enabled sorry scope I will decrease the scope just a little bit get rid of proportional editing and just like this right I don't know that's just an appreci appreciation of what I can see uh, and hopefully it's okay <laughs> we have it here right F12 so we can see it for the last time this week and um, again, I hope this will help to anyone trying to model anything on Blender in general. <laughs> um, Transformers in particular. <laughs> so, hey, once again, I'm Alberto Chavez. Uh, please remember to follow um, the YouTube channel. Somebody told me you say. A Guatemala Chavez, you say it, you should say it in English. So, a Guatemala Chavez, <laughs> I that's the name of the channel. And also, you can uh, subscribe to the blog, um, it's Diseño Libre, which should be uh, free design. That's a Guatemala 2, 2, it's a number dot blogspot.com. Thank you very much for giving these tutorials the follow-up and I will see you hopefully 
next week. Until then, may the free and open software live a long, long life.